Hare Krishna. As you can see here, I am on the Keyword Planner tool and this is a keyword search tool by Google by which you can find how many searches a keyword has on monthly basis on Google search engine. So if we type over here, let's discuss about God and get ideas. And if I click on keyword ideas, as you can see here, God, 673,000 average monthly searches. Can you see that? People are searching. What is God? 8,100. Is God real? 22,200. About God? 1,900. Kingdom of God? Prox 12,000. As you can see here, existence of God, 4,400. As you can see here, people are searching for God, okay? Where is God? 8,100. And there are not too much people, you know, interested in God. And these people are interested and they are searching, okay? So these people have higher consciousness. And we have to tell them, okay, who is God. And can you see here, people are asking questions, who created God? 9900 searches for this. Okay, God has no creator, that's why he's God. You can see here, Jesus is God, Muslim God, lots of new questions about God believe in God it's not about believing uh, believing okay God is there and will remain forever okay so I written an article about this and I uh, extract some questions from this you know Google Kiva tool where people asking questions okay and they are asking Google and websites so I written uh, an article on my website where I discuss about these questions so first question who is God okay and uh, one thing I have to tell you know people are commenting on my posts that Vedas are myth Bhagavad Gita is myth you know they are you know bashing me you know they are saying everything is myth okay uh, the Vedas Bhagavad Gita the previous Acharyas also you know they are bashing that they are all myths but I have to tell here these are not myths we have some proofs okay from the previous Acharyas okay as you can see here uh, the Srila Prabhupada uh, as you can see here, his all books are written here. Uh, go to prabhupadabooks.com where you can find his works, okay, his books. And it is not, you know, he just translated in English, okay. It is not his books. He just translated what, what's there in his scriptures. Originally, it is in Sanskrit language. But as you know, English is becoming you know so popular language so he you know translated it okay and because Sanskrit no one able to understand in this time because people have low consciousness that's why you know he translated all these uh, scriptures Vedas Bhagavad Gita uh, in English and it is all coming from the disciplic succession and it is not a myth it is not uh, you know some dogma those who are saying it is dogma or anything like that they are of lower consciousness and we don't believe them okay it's they are what they are believing let them believe okay and let's us discuss some real proof over here as you can see here, Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, teachings of Lord Chaitanya. 
easy journey to other planets there are tons of you know proofs also there signs of self-realization life comes from life it is not dogma life comes from life you know there are tons of books over here and it is uh, based on you know a spiritual okay a spiritual platform so maybe material people not able to understand but those who are seeking questions those who are seeking you know answers about God they can go there and read it okay if you are not interested don't read it we are not forcing you but we have to you know answer these questions over here so that the people who are searching for God can really find it who is God Krishna is God I'm not saying in Bhagavad Gita Krishna said I am God and all the previous Acharyas like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, Srila Rup Goswami Sanatan Goswami, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Srila Prabhupada, all accepted it. Okay. What is God? Okay. Second question. God is everything. Our answer. And He resides in every atom. Krishna said, I live in every atom and in every living being. So God is everything. Even uh, God lives in, you know, every, everywhere. You just need eyes to see him, okay? And what is how you can develop those eyes by reading Bhagavad Gita, by reading scriptures. There are signs written in that where you can learn things about God, about Krishna. Who created God? Can you see that? This question. So our answer is God has no creator, that's why he is God. Okay? Krishna said that he has no creator, that's why. Is God. Why shall I accept anyone you know who created God? Okay, why not the uh, the created one? I will accept that. You know, I will accept him as a God. Is there a God? Yes, Krishna is God, and He's everywhere. Okay, it is in written in the scriptures. We are not saying that. Is God real? Yes, God is real and other things are a illusion. If you are on the spiritual platform and if you you know, know things about God, then you are a real person and you know the reality. And if you are living without a God, then you are living in, in an illusion. Uh, you are living in illusory energy of God, okay? So where is God? Okay, God is everywhere. You need education. You can meet Krishna. Okay, instructions are there in Bhagavad Gita, and instructions are like you just need to serve Him, and you just follow His orders, and you can return back to Him. Okay, you denied His orders. That's why you are here. Simply just follow His orders, and you will go there. You can, you know, personally meet with him in his spiritual worlds. Is there really a God? Yes, Krishna is God. Vedas are proof. Previous Acharyas are proof. Bhagavad Gita is the proof. Vedas are the proof. All previous Acharyas, Acharyas, spiritual teachers, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted Krishna as God. Rup Goswami accepted Krishna as God. Jeev Goswami accepted Krishna as God. Sanatan Goswami accepted Krishna as God. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur accepted Krishna as God. Srila Prabhupada accepted Krishna as God. Haridas Thakur accepted Krishna as God. Advaita Acharya accepted Krishna as God. And tons of others. And they are not, you know, some low level philosophers you can read their books they are some you know high class learned persons philosophers and they don't talk about dogma and they don't talk about you know ifs and buts if you read their books they are some awesome philosophy you know discussions there 
you can find out you know it's all there you can just simply go to prabhupadabooks.com and you can read many you know books there okay so where did god come from krishna god does not depend on time just like we as a conditioned soul because we denied orders of krishna in spiritual worlds that's why we are here and we, and we just need to follow him and we are you know in the material platform that's why we depend on time but krishna as a spiritual god is a spiritual and he does not depend on time so he has no origin and no ending point he does not fall under time constraints so the this question is you know useless who made god krishna has no creator that's why he is god simple and straightforward why believe in god okay some some people ask you know why believe in god it's not about believing whether you believe in sun or not sun is there don't be an owl all scriptures like bhagavad gita vedas previous acharyas are proof that krishna is god how was god created can you see that again question krishna does not depend on time so he has no origin and no ending point he does not fall under time constraints there is no god you believe or not this is useless there is god and he is krishna how old is god can you see that people are asking question how old is god they thinking like you know god like us god is not like us he does not old age and he does not fall under time constraints so god is not you know old or if we are thinking uh on material platform like getting an old age like an old but he's the oldest one but he's the youngest one also this is contradictory but it is possible in a spiritual worlds on a spiritual science it's uh, you can't you know find this in material finding god how we can find god krishna is god read bhagavad gita by srila prabhupad bhagavad gita is a song of krishna okay directly from god so you can find uh, find god okay krishna said in bhagavad gita just surrender unto him serve him and just follow his orders you will return back to him you denied his orders that's why you are here where is kingdom of god okay krishna lives in his spiritual energy he is not material at all like us he is everywhere but he has a kingdom where you can meet him personally he resides in vrindavan okay krishna god resides in his you know own abode called vrindavan where you can meet him okay you can you know even play with him if you want so god has you know kingdom okay where is evidence of god again krishna is god vedas are proof previous acharyas are proof bhagavad gita are proof is the proof sorry chaitanya mahaprabhu rup goswami all the previous acharyas are the proof okay this is not a dogma okay some people are commenting you know they don't know anything about god and they are firing questions they are firing their own thoughts and we are not you know these are not our thoughts these are all coming from the disciplic succession and we are not saying that okay so definition of god god is krishna and krishna means all attractive god is all attractive and beautiful that's why he is god okay there is no one beautiful there is no other you know things beautiful than him that's why he is god so you can see here i answered all the questions here whether you believe it or not but reality sun is there whether you believe it or not okay so 
it's I'm Matt signing off. Take care. Okay. Hare Krishna.